Hello, welcome to the first part for the creation of FPM application which contains core data services or CDS view. This FPM application will be created using application creation tool. This is a three part series and at the end of this series you will be able to create an FM application without writing a single line of code. In this part of the series we will be defining what is an application creation tool, what is core data services view and advanced view building, which CDS view we will be using for our sample application and what is this sample application all about. So first, what is application creation tool? Application creation tool or ACT significantly reduces the effort involved in creating a new FM application. The tool itself is a WebDimple application provided by FPM which allows application developers to create FPM applications and their corresponding configurations for all available floor plans, be it OIF, GF or OEP. ACT provides a creation wizard in order to generate UIBBs very fast. The created UIBBs can be changed via flexible UI designers afterwards. ACT internally uses the Service Adaptation Definition Language or Saddle Framework to consume business entities. But you as an FPM developer need not worry what is this saddle framework all about. The business entities can be a CDS view or any other table or view created in S11. What is Core Data Services and Advanced View Building? Advanced View Building supports the code pushdown as also it simplifies the consumption of relational database models. Today you define views in the ABAP dictionary via transaction S11. But these views are quite restricted. For example, you can only define inner join for database views. Outer joins are available only for help and maintenance views. You cannot do aggregation in views. You cannot nest views. With ABAP 7.4 SV5, we deliver a new editor to define views directly in Eclipse based ABAP development environment. This editor will be source based in contrast to SC11 which is form based. And in this editor, you can define view entities which are known to be as Core Data Services View. The CDS view can be consumed in programs by means of OpenSQL. The new editor in Eclipse will support code pushdown by similar features like in OpenSQL. That means you will be able to do projections, aggregations and groupings. You will be able to use expressions like in case statement. You will be able to use certain SQL built-in functions. Moreover, you can use union and union all and you can do non equi inner joins. To simplify consumption of relational data models, you can nest views. That means a view can consume another view. And you can define association between view entities. The associations can be consumed in the where clause as well as in expression. For our sample application, we will be using the CDS view SCPM CDS Open Invoice Reduce. This view can be found in the ABAP package SCPM OIA Apps Provider. This CDS view combines various tables of EPM models. The EPM model is available from 702 systems. The EPM data model provides the tables for sales orders, business partners, invoice and various other entities. This view combines the tables of sales order invoice headers, sales orders, business partners, sales order invoice items and dining level text. The CDS view gives back the result for sales order ID, company name, dunning level, the dunning level description, currency code and gross amount. The sample application which you will be creating will look similar to the reference application SCPM OIA saddle with the application configuration with the same name. This application can be found in the ABAP package SEPM OIA apps FPM saddle. run this application you can see two charts which are dining level and buyers and a list which displays the open sales orders so what is this scenario all about so this is a fiction company i tell you and it sells different products to different buyers whenever it sells it creates a sales orders and a sales order invoice for each of the invoice there is a dunning level. The dunning level shows the level of action which has been taken for the collection of the invoice amount. So a dunning level can be a do not remind yet that means the buyer need not be reminded yet for the collection of the payment for the particular sales order or uh, a buyer will be sent a first reminder to give the 
invoice amount second reminder third reminder there can be presentation for collection or there can be an action for payment in this application it shows the chart with different dining levels so you as an account manager if you want to see uh, which are all the sales orders which are under the third or the last reminder then you can click on this slice and these sales orders will be filtered according to what dining level has been chosen it also filters the buyer chart so it shows all the buyers which has the sales orders under this dining level so uh, for this third and the last reminder these are all the buyers whose sales orders are in this dining level suppose you want to filter down further the, the sales order list for, to see only the sales orders of pc gym tech then you click on this slice and will display all the sales orders for the pc gym tech this list shows the sales orders grouped by the sales order ID. If you expand this group, you will be able to see the sales order ID, buyer name, the current dining level, and the different currencies and the gross amount. That's the end of the first part. In the second part, you will be shown how to create an FM application using ACT. In the third part, you will be changing the configuration using flexible UI, de UI designer this configuration which was created in the second part by ACT. That's it from my side. Thank you.